Hello again, and what I thought I'd do today is show you a review of some software. I get a lot of email, and I wanted to find a way to keep it nice and organized without keeping everything in the uh, email client or in Gmail. Uh, so I did a bit of a search on the internet, and some time ago I found something called MailStore Home. In the description I'm going to give you a link to their website so that you can download it for yourself if you want to. Now this is the actual application running, as you can see it's version 7. I've got nearly 40,000 messages saved in my archive. It's 895 megabytes in total. Now that's going back many, many years. I keep things like serial numbers for uh, the license keys for software and so on, important messages with uh, login details of any sites that I join, that kind of a thing. But anything that you want to keep, you can take away from your normal email client, even if that's a Gmail account, and you can save it within MailStore Home. It's a good way of organizing your email so that your live inbox only has the items that you need to deal with right now. Everything else is stored in the archive. I'll just take a quick tour around this so that you can see. Uh, we've got, d down the left, we've got the start page, which we're looking at here, the actual archive. There can be several different email accounts in there a search facility, you can see it's repeated here, an export facility, if you want to re-export an archived email you can do that even many years later. You can back the entire archive to your hard disk or a USB, uh, flash memory, that kind of thing, which is useful for creating our archive copies of the archive, then uh, cleaning this up and what you in, in effect what you get is a fresh start so that this runs very quickly, Mail Store Home runs very quickly, but you still have access to an ongoing archive of really old stuff in case you need it. The administrative tools allow you to specify where to save your files. You can clean up the amount of space used if you delete a lot of files, for example. Say you had, let's say you had a thousand spam files or spam emails by accident that you'd saved in your archive. If you delete them, free the unused disk space will just compact the amount of space needed to keep the archive on your hard disk. The search index gives you a very fast search and you're going to see that in a moment. You may need to rebuild it from time to time if there's a problem with the index. The indexing is how MailStore Home, Home will actually do um, a search for you. Now if you have attachments that you save, which MailStore Home does by default, you can specify here which attachments you want to be searchable. So if you have text files as attachments, you can have those searchable. Uh, you wouldn't normally do that with things like a JPEG and so on because they're not really searchable by text. Um, so, but certainly maybe PDF or text file or document file, that kind of a thing. So let's go back to the start page. So if I go to the archive the email section, you can see I've only got a single profile name here but you can have as many as you want and it will cope with most email clients so if you use a specific application Mozilla Thunderbird for example or Windows Mail or even Microsoft Outlook you can uh, log in with the details for that particular application archive everything it does leave the original emails on your email client so the archiving itself won't affect your actual email client you can delete from that yourself if you want to, or you can end up with an archive, save copy, and keep the originals in the original email client as well if you want to. To run it, you would simply click here, click on Run. The property uh, just specify email address and password. I'm set up, so I don't need to do that. For Gmail, you can specify POP settings, POP3 or IMAP. If you don't know what those are, don't worry. Uh, most often with Gmail, you will use the IMAP settings, but in your Gmail account, you'll be able to check the settings under the main account settings tab uh, for the Gmail, and you can simply copy and paste those settings into here. If you want to add a new email account, because you can archive multiple email accounts, just type in the email address here. You can specify the type of account here. Once you click start it will go through and ask you for things like the password and so on and then it will do the archiving for you. So let me actually run this and do an archive. Now uh, I've recently cleared out my email so there's only I think there's only about a thousand left in there so let's just run and see how fast this is. Uh, there we go so it's initializing and it's looking through the various 
emails on my Gmail account. When it finds a new one, it will copy it into this archive. If it finds one that it's already archived previously, it will skip it. As you can see, there are only two that have been archived so far, even though it's done about 250 items. So I've, I've run this a little bit earlier, which is why there's only, well in this case, five now, six new archived emails. Just runs for a few seconds, depending on the size of your email box. And when it's finished, you see a, a notification that will come up in a few moments. OK, so it's gone through just over 2,000 specific emails in my Gmail account, and it's only archived six. Now, I do, I do need to clear that Gmail account out. Normally, I wouldn't have that many in there. If you have a Gmail account, it is possible to do an archive within Gmail itself. The reason I use this particular system, the Mail Home, uh, the Mail Store Home system, is that that way it keeps it on my computer. I've got the archive on my computer and not on Google's. If for any reason I can't ac access the archive on Google's machines, I'm going to be stumped. So I'd much rather have the archive on my machine under my control. If you use a more traditional email client, say Thunderbird, then the archive is a way of, again, keeping a backup, but keeping the actual email client, the application such as Thunderbird, running at an optimal level. Most email clients, when they have a lot of email in them, tend to get a bit clogged and run more slowly and less effectively, so it can be more difficult when you're doing searches and so on. MailStore Home is actually designed specifically for archiving and fast searching. I have found that to be the case when I've looked up uh, software license numbers from years ago. It's very, very fast. Let me actually show you that now. So if we do a search just by clicking here, um, I can do a search with all kinds of parameters. I can specify whether I'm looking at the subject, the body, attachments and so on. Um, I can look for specific senders. Or receivers I can look in an individual folder if I have multiple folders on my email client or my Gmail account uh, I can look in a specific folder and then we can look for emails with and without attachments um, certain date ranges and so on so let me just go back to the start page um, I can also search from here this is the main page you will see when you start the application so to search the email let's just have a look or we can search over here in the quick search so I'm going to search let's think um, license key. Just for argument's sake, I've forgotten the serial number for one of my software applications. Let's do a search. Now it's pretty fast. Um, I've, for obvious reasons, I've actually blurred out the specific details because the software keys that I have, I don't want to be uh, made public on the internet, obviously. But you can see how quickly uh, it's found a lot of emails with the term license key in it. Okay, and it's done in date order here currently. So I can just, if I know roughly what I'm looking for, I can look for the date. If I wanted to be more specific, I could look up uh, license, oh, let's say Camtasia, which I've just spelt wrong. And we've only got a few emails this time so it's easier for me to find. So that would help me to uh, get to a particular email more quickly by narrowing down the specific search I use. Okay, so let's go back to the start page. Um, I don't think there's much more to show you on this because the archiving is straightforward. Hit the profile, hit run, and just wait till it's finished. You can have as many profiles as you like. Creating the shortcut on a desktop here will allow you to make a clickable link on your desktop so that it will automatically run the profile and then do the archiving for you. If you archive frequently, that can be much easier than opening this application, coming to the um, archive page, then clicking the profile name, then clicking run. Just depends on how many profiles you have, how often you run this, uh, and so on. I don't bother with a shortcut on the desktop. I don't like desktop shortcuts very much personally, but that's just my, my personal preference. Uh, so you start page, archive, search. This is the more um, significant search where you can specify lots of different individual parameters. That's your quick search. Uh, and that's about it. Very fast and it's free, which is even better. I'll give you a link in the description where you can download it if it's of interest to you. Okay, hope that helps and thanks for watching. See you later.